to discuss about uh, Fraunhofer diffraction due to n slits. In my previous lectures, I, I already discussed in uh, Fraunhofer diffraction at single slit, Fraunhofer diffraction at uh, two slits. I discussed about uh, the patterns also, in single slit pattern and uh, two slits pattern also. But here, n slits it will be in a different pattern, the uh, resultant will be. Here, I had to assume the n number of slits here n number of slits then uh, each slit represents one wave frame I have to compare this question with uh, Fraunhofer diffraction with single slit in single slit there will be number of secondary wave rates are present there but here the number of wave frames are present in that question we calculated the resultant of the number of secondary wave rates but here we calculate we will calculate the resultant of the number of wave frames and uh, if the final condition is if the number of slits are increased then what happens if number of slits are decreased what happens and uh, what will be the um, condition of uh, principal maximum what will be the condition of uh, secondary maximum if the number of slits increases like that we have to calculate here another thing is if there is one slit means there will be it is uh, you remember here yeah, this is very important if there is one slit means there will be one principal maximum if there are two slits are diffracted then there will be a diffraction pattern and interference pattern also occurs in that process if n number of slits are there that means the principal maxima is also n number this is the main thing the students have to remember this let us start the session Fraunhofer diffraction due to n slits. Already we discussed about single slit and double slit, and uh, this question can be called as a plane diffraction grating also. In this experiment, there are n number of slits are available. In n number of slits, the diffracts light. Then we have to find the resultant of the image. This is the diagram. In this diagram this is grating a b c d e f g h they represents the number of slits and w w dash represents uh, a plane monochromatic uh, wave frame and uh, the instant on the lens they converged at point they form image at p naught that means the secondary wavelets which are emitting from this each slit each slit which is parallel to the incident beam that means the incident beam and uh, the slit beam the slits beams the slits secondary wavelets which are parallel with each other they form ms at uh, p naught this is another ms the slits are same but uh, the secondary wavelets which are making an angle theta with the incident beam the incident uh, wavelets the secondary wavelets which are making an angle theta with the incident beam they form they combine to form ms at uh, p1 at p1 now let us discuss about uh, the equation okay in this uh, according to the diagram e refers the width of the each slit d means the roller between slits and e plus t means the grating element that means the gap uh, the distance between two slits that means the uh, the midpoint of the first slit to the midpoint of the second slit that means the midpoint of the one slit to the midpoint of the next slit this is d this is e by 2 this is e by 2 
that means this is called e plus d this is called grating element if suppose there are thousand slits are there that means that the gap between first slit and second slit is same as that of the any two successive slits and s s dash refers the screen and uh, lambda is called as uh, the incident parallel beam of monochromatic light similarly the path difference is e plus d sin theta in case of single slit that is e sin theta even in double slit also e plus d sin theta the phase difference is the multiple of uh, phase difference 2 beta is equal to k into path difference that is 2 pi by lambda into sin theta we know by vector addition method the resultant amplitude of the wave front is r is equal to a sin n d by 2 a sin d by 2 here n number of slits are available that means each slit gives one wave front so we have to modify this equation for this situation in uh, present case in present case uh, we assume a is equal to a sin alpha by alpha small n is equal to n and d is equal to 2 beta according to single set small a is called amplitude of the individual secondary wavelet but here the amplitude of the wavelet in case of single set there are n number of wavelets are present there but here n number of wave fronts are there so we are assuming a wave front as a wavelet that means we are modifying this equation to this present situation then by substituting these values in this equation we get r is equal to a sin alpha by alpha sin n d means 2 beta by 2 divided by sin 2 beta by 2 then 2 2 2 2 gets cancelled then r is equal to a sin alpha by alpha into sin n beta by sin beta this is the resultant amplitude of the n number of wave fronts actually a sin alpha, <coughs> a sin alpha by alpha actually a sin alpha by alpha gives the resultant amplitude of a single wave front and sin n beta by sin beta gives the combined effect of the n number of wave fronts so um, <coughs> This is uh, of course equation one. Uh, this is equation one. This is equation one. This is uh, equation two. This is equation two. This is equation three. Now we have to examine. I have to check the case study of uh, this equation. Similarly, the intensity I is equal to R square means A sine alpha by alpha whole square sin n beta by sin beta whole square this is equation number four this is intensity this is resultant amplitude this is equation three refers resultant uh, amplitude and this gives intensity condition for the principal maximum I have to take uh, this equation a sin n beta by sin beta so when the equation becomes maximum means when denominator is uh, is equal to zero then the resultant will be maximum which is infinity so here we have to assume the denominator is equal to zero that is sin beta is equal to zero but numerator is not equals to zero sin n beta is not equals to zero this is the condition then uh, beta is equal to plus or minus n pi here we have to think over it because in case of single slit there is only one principal maxima present in that situation 
but here n number of slits that means n number of principal maximums will be present then beta is equal to n pi i had to assume where n is equal to 0 1 2 3 4 up to n now the intensity we have to find out the, the intensity intensity by calculating intensity or uh, n already we know 2 beta is equal to 2 pi by lambda into e plus d sin theta which is phase difference that means 2 2 gets cancelled beta is equal to pi into e plus d sin theta by lambda this is a phase difference now equate this equation and this equation this beta and this beta we get pi into e plus d sin theta divided by lambda is equal to plus or minus n pi pi and pi gets cancelled e plus d sin theta is equal to plus or minus n lambda which gives the condition for the for the principal maxima condition for the principal maxima here this means n n refers order your n is equal to 0 1 2 3 4 5 like that then it gives the order of the principal maxima if n is equal to 0 this is called 0 th principal maxima 1 means first principal maxima 2 means second principal maxima and so on now find the intensity intensity of the principal maxima take a sin uh, sin n beta by sin beta that is limit beta tends to n pi sin n beta by sin beta then limit beta tends to n pi this d by d beta of sin n beta by d by d beta of sin beta this is equal to limit of beta tends to n pi this is limit of <coughs> beta tends to n pi n cos n beta by cos beta is equal to plus or minus n <coughs> n by L hospitals rule by L hospitals rule therefore sin therefore sin n beta by sin beta whole square is equal to n square gives the maximum intensity therefore the intensity i is equal to a sin alpha by alpha square into sin n beta by sin beta at this position i to substitute n square this gives which is called maximum intensity this principal maxima gives maximum intensity for minima again take sin n beta by sin beta here for 
the resultant should be minima that means when the numerator becomes zero then the resultant will be equals to minima so that is sin n beta the condition is sin n beta is is equals to zero but the denominator sin beta is not equals to zero sin beta should not equals to zero then n beta is equal to the general equation plus or minus m pi n beta is plus or minus m pi because the number of uh, minima are available we know the phase difference the phase difference beta is equal to pi into e plus d sin theta by lambda now substitute this beta value in this equation n into pi e plus d sin theta by lambda is equal to plus or minus m pi pi and pi gets cancelled then n into e plus d sin theta is equal to plus or minus m lambda plus or minus m lambda this is the condition for condition for minima position and condition for minima so we have to the calculate uh, some calculations by using this formula uh, problems may ask like this here m is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 up to n but another condition is m not equals to 0 m not equals to n that is 2n 3n up to n n okay this is the second condition which is very important if m is equal to 0 then e plus d sin theta is equal to 0 which goes to principal maxima if m is equal to n if i put n here this n and this n gets cancelled then e plus d sin theta is equal to 1 lambda which is which matches with principal maxima that is first principal maxima and second that means that should not be suppose this grating is having 100 slits that means that should not be equals to 100 if 0 goes to 0th principal maxima if m equals to 100 that means 100 100 gets cancelled which goes to first principal maxima so this condition is very very important in case of minima next thing is secondary maxima in secondary maxima take uh, the intensity equation this is uh, a, this is the intensity equation and uh, differentiate the above equation beta like already we have done differentiation in single slit and double slit uh, with this equation but here this is only multiplier here that's why I took partial differentiation so alpha alpha is constant here it is only multiplier but we have to differentiate this equation with respect to the, uh, with respect to beta the intensity becomes uh, zero that means uh, the intensity in case of diffraction the intensity will be in the decreasing order and uh, at a particular uh, position the intensity becomes zero so i have to solve it it is dou by dou beta of a sine alpha by alpha whole square into sine n beta by sine beta whole square is equal to zero this should be equated with zero by solving uh, this equation we get 
a sin alpha by alpha square 2 into sin n beta by sin beta into this differentiation sin square beta into sin beta sin differentiation of sin n beta means n cos n beta or d by d beta of sin n beta minus sin n beta into d by d beta of sin beta this is u by v method you know very well a sin alpha by alpha square 2 into sin n beta by sin beta by solving this by simplifying this equation sin beta into n cos n beta minus sin n beta into cos beta divided by sin square beta is equal to z so we have to consider this equation already in uh, principal maxima we consider this equals to zero minima this equals to zero but uh, secondary maxima we have to consider this equation this equation equals to zero and simplify this equation and get the term get the answer in terms of sin n beta by sin beta now taken the equation sin beta n cos n beta minus sin n beta into cos beta then uh, this big this equation becomes like this then i divided sin by cos sin by cos wise then if i wrote this equation tan n beta is equal to n into tan beta this is the resultant of uh, uh, secondary maximum but uh, this is in terms of tan n beta we have to find it in sin n beta so this can be written as tan n beta is equal to n by cot beta here tan means opposite by adjacent so we have to assume now we have to find this n beta in terms of sine so I have to assume right angle triangle like this right angle triangle like this the angle is n beta at on a diagram this is opposite side this is n this is adjacent this is cot beta now hypotenuse will be root of n square plus cot square beta now we have to prove in terms of sin n beta sin n beta is equal to opposite by hypotenuse that means n by root of n square plus cot square beta if i squaring this sin square n beta is equal to n square by n square plus quarter square beta yes by squaring this but uh, our term is sin square n beta by sin square beta which is the combined effect of intensity that is equal to n square by n square plus cot square beta into sin square beta by simplifying this equation this is n square by n square plus cos square beta by sin square beta into sin square beta this is equal to n square by 
n square sin square beta by multiplying the sin square beta with this equation plus cos square beta. This cos square beta can be written as 1 minus sin square beta n square by n square sin square beta plus 1 minus sin square beta. Then n square by if I took sin square beta as common factor sin square beta into n square minus 1 is plus 1 and this is sin square n beta by sin square beta <laughs> this is the intensity then intensity in terms of sin square and already we got intensity in terms of tan beta now I converted this tan beta into tan n beta into sin n beta sin n beta and I squared it and uh, I substituted sin square beta here so I got the secondary maxima secondary maxima in terms of sin square n beta by sin square beta here now if I calculate the secondary maxima the ratio of the secondary maxima and principal maxima what happens the ratio of the intensity of secondary maxima and the intensity of principal maxima that means n square by sin square beta into n square minus 1 plus 1 which refers the secondary maxima and n square refers the principal maxima if n square n square gets cancelled of course a sin alpha by alpha also there they, bo they both will be this also a sin alpha by alpha here also a sin alpha by alpha this both will gets cancelled and n square n square gets cancelled the remaining equation will be like this by observing this equation here n means number of slits if number of slits increases then the intensity of the secondary maxima decreases suppose uh, there are 10 slits the intensity of maxima will be certain uh, intensity of uh, secondary maxima will be at certain magnitude if i increased the slits into 100 then the intensity of the secondary maxima will be decreased and the intensity of the principal maxima will be increased so this is the the final conclusion of this question let us observe the diagram this is the diagram the final pattern the first diagram this first diagram refers the diffraction due to single slit that means the intensity in the decreasing order next thing is the sin n beta by sin, sin square n beta by sin square beta gives a different peaks of uh, principal maximus these are principal maximus and uh, these are secondary maximus the principal maximus are having same intensity and uh, secondary maximus also having same intensity that means this equation gives this type of pattern and uh, the resultant of these two diagrams this diagram and this diagram gives the new series this is the, this is at origin at O. this is the f zero th position of principal maxima this is the principal maxima which is located at uh, origin then these are the secondary maximas which are uh, in the decreasing intensity then second series then uh, this is the first order this is the zero th order of the pattern of the diffraction this is the first order that means this is principal maxima this is first this is zeroth principal maxima this is first principal maxima then the intensities are in decreasing order this is the other side of the principal maxima first principal maxima in the negative direction and uh, the intensity also in the decreasing order by this uh, uh, equation 
it is obvious that if there is a single slit then only one series comes if there is two slits the diffraction and as well as interference occurs if n number of slits are present present then it follows the diffraction rule that is the intensity in decreasing order again the total the individual in intensity also decreasing and the whole density intensity also decreasing with respect to the principal maximum this is the question for uh, fraunhofer diffraction due to n slits or uh, plane diffraction grating which carries uh, nearly 10 marks in the main examination thank you